Hi, this is Nick from TBT, www.airriflechuning.com. Welcome to my video on should I buy the Virac HW80? Of course the answer is yes, but we're going to have a look at why. As you can see, I have this beautiful gun in front of me, or at least I would do if it wasn't for the fact that every time I try and include a video with it, it gets deleted. So we're going to try it without. This is an exercise in imagination. Now, I want you all to concentrate and just imagine there is a Virac HW80 here. It's an HW80K, okay, the Kurtz short barrel at this end, and you'll notice there's an aim sport moderator on there, which helps with the noise and also helps for the cocking. It's got, as usual for my guns, a CS stock, custom stocks of Sheffield. This one's the CS500 in a show grade, <laughs> show grade walnut. And you can see that it has the uh, stippled grip and fore end there. And on top, of course, my three to nine by 45 Optima Moonlighter. If you know, you know. Um, down here, you'll see the record tr trigger unit which is probably the best on the market for an off-the-shelf rifle. Uh, easily adjustable. I will be doing a video on how to adjust that if you want to actually get it tuned. There's a guy I use, Andy Blackmax. Contact me and I'll get you in contact with him and he can help you out. Now, I'm using notes because I'm so blown away by what I'm having to do here that I'm just easily confused. It's about my 12th take and I'm getting tired and I need a cuddle. So... The first time I used an HW80 was pretty close to them coming out in the early 80s when my friend Jason Playford got one. Uh, my friend Will Wigstead and I went round there to, to have a go with it and it took, we were only 12 at the time, it took two of us to lift it, to cock it, to fire it. It was kind of ridiculous but it was also kind of awesome. Ever since then, I mean HW80, it is the ultimate break barrel self-contained rifle end of in my my opinion purely my opinion but that's the only one that matters to me at the moment um so that was it the thing is back in the 1980s and indeed into the 90s no one had a chronograph not even the gun shops had chronographs so if you're looking at buying a second hand one of these then be aware that it's going to need checking you're going to have to make sure if it's okay if you're in the uk which is another thing if you're in the uk and you want to run one of these as standard under 12 it ain't going to work okay it well you can get it to work but it won't be nice and some people say oh but i love mine yeah to get it shooting what i consider to be properly you're going to have to change the amount of air that the piston pushes out you can do this by short stroking it with one of our maxi pro kits it basically reduces the movement of the piston by 15 millimeters which means it pushes out less air which means you can get it under 12 sensibly or you can sleeve the compression tube you see the compression you're still using your imagination your compression tube um sleeving that down to 25 millimeters putting a 25 mil piston in again that changes the amount of air that's pushed out makes it fantastic under 12 foot pounds but don't be afraid of buying a second hand one of these because it's, it's, it's indestructible if there's ever a nuclear war only cockroaches and hw80s will survive we all know this it is true they are absolutely great um, now a lot of people think that the only reason we moved to france because our daughter's disabled we can't get the services we needed for her particular disabilities and, and, and issues in the UK whereas we could in France so we moved to France and whilst that is actually true the main force behind it was for me to be able to have an HW80 running full power in my back garden and I cannot tell you how much I love this particular gun that you see in front of me here. Um, you can still get them new and I'm hoping that you'll be able to buy them new for many years to come because it is an absolutely great rifle if you get a new one be aware same as with all the hws that i'm going to be talking about on these videos um, that you should in my opinion again just my opinion after you've fired the first few shots and check that it's all working correctly take it apart take the grease that's inside there which i think is there just to to protect it from rusting on the shelf take all of that out replace it with a good quality molybdenum um, gun grease I will be doing a video on that soon as well showing you how to do that what to use and where uh, but if you do that it'll last for many years to come and if you're after if you're if you're after a gun for full power whether you have the paperwork for it whether you live in a country where that is possible this is the one to look at 
alternatives to it. You've got the Dianas, the 350, which is a brake barrel. It's very long from, from, from memory, but that will go over the 20. Likewise, the 48, the 52, the 54 and the 56, they're side levers, but again, they're very, very well made and will all go over 20. But for me, I just look at it. This HW80 is the business. It's, it is, it's iconic. It's, it's just the one that you should have in your collection, if you have a collection. Um, and that is it, really. I am sorry for the ridiculousness of this. And I'm hoping that it won't happen with the HW95 that I'm intending to do next. Please like and subscribe because we do have lots of videos, hopefully better, coming out very, very soon, uh, including how to re-lube the gun, how to uh, play around with the trigger and also buyer's guides to other rifles. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.